Well, hey everybody, it's Kebbo Jones here with another episode of the Wonderful World of Baseball Cards. I wanted to do a quick little mail day combined with a bit of uh, storytelling uh, in there as well. Uh, I picked up some pre-war cards uh, off of Twitter from a gentleman uh, named Anson Whaley. Uh, Anson does a lot of, well, exclusively pre-war cards and has an amazing collection. Uh, he and I have talked a little bit over the last year and he's turned me on to some really good stuff and he was having a Twitter sale of, of some cards that, that he was uh, getting rid of this earlier this week and, and I took my chances to see what was out there and ended up with some really fun and unique and interesting stuff. I had first uh, contacted Anson last year, um, last June I think, when I was reading his website um, about uh, some kind of lesser, more affordable pre-war cards that are very nice to get into. And as looking on his website, he had a banner, a card on the side of his banner. Um, and I've showed this in a video before, but this was kind of where our connection started and that I had picked up this uh, 1888 Little Roadie Cut Plug America National Sports Card. I guess these are the N557s is what they're called. I asked him uh, what uh, the card was, he told me, and he happened to have an extra, so he sent this beautiful card to me. Uh, last June and I, I feel like I paid a really really fair price for these. He says in all his years of collecting pre-war cards he's only come across two of these and as you can see it's just an absolutely gorgeous card. This is the one card I would ever I would keep in my collection if I was forced to get rid of everything else along with these two uh, which I just kind of have holding place today. Those are my grandpa's 1933 Warch cigars uh, there's Lou Gehrig and there's Lefty Grove, um, and I just kind of got them hanging out with us today. So Anson and I facilitated the sale on this beautiful uh, little roadie um, last, uh, last summer. And I reached out to him, and he doesn't sell a lot of stuff. I'll just show you the back here, too. I've showed this card a few times, but it's really, to me, it's just one for the ages. Um, and I'm going to have, have her hanging out with Lefty and, and Lou. Uh, so I check in with him every now and then just to see what he's got. And usually he's really busy and, and uh, doesn't really have a lot of stuff to sell. But he did turn me on to these as well, uh, which are like these 1910 Murad cigarette cards. Here's one of Antioch College. I'm not sure what these are known as, but I picked this up around the time that I got this. Uh, this was just a really cheap card. These are beautiful as well. And uh, this was an acquisition that I made last summer. And I just uh, thought I'd share that with you as these, uh, this was a recommendation from Anson to pick one of these up uh, pre-war cards. So I just thought I'd uh, put that little beauty there. So anyway, he had a Twitter sale this last week and unfortunately, I, I missed out on a Hassan triple folder uh, with Home Run Baker and Eddie Collins in the middle black and white picture. I literally missed out by 10 seconds. And the price was amazing. Um, I know I'll never see that one again. But anyway, he, he hooked me up with some really nice stuff and I got a really good deal. I had to write my little notes down here as I uh, am not the uh, utmost authority on pre-war cards. So the first one I got is, this is what he describes as an A33 um, from the late 19th century, I think the late 1880s, early 1890s, and he, this is I guess the Duke Terror set, um, is what he labeled this in his Twitter listing. Um, I just thought that this was absolutely fantastic. This is the Catcher, it's called. Um, just a wonderful little old card um, of some great, uh, great imagery. 
And so I picked up this one, A33, uh, the catcher. Um, so yeah, I picked that, that little beauty up. Uh, this is a T210 um, old mill back, I guess. Uh, I love this with the red borders. Uh, this is Doogie from Waco. Um, you can kind of see that there. Um, of course, I'm not too worried about condition in these, obviously. Um, but I just thought that this was a neat card. I really liked that it was an actual photograph. Waco, Texas. It was way out in the middle of nowhere in the 19, you know, around 1910. Um, and so I just thought that this was really neat, uh, really neat card to kind of just add to the, add to the, uh, the PC there. Uh, Doogie from Waco from the T T T two ten set. As I said, I I, I really am not all that. Uh, I love pre war, but the not, the naming conventions confuse me. Um, and there's so many variants, so it can get a little. Uh, forgive me for all the uh, um, aficionados. Uh, this last one is a postcard that's really cool. Uh, 1908 White City Art. Uh, this is a basketball postcard. It's really cool. Um, it, it reminds me a lot of this little roadie. And as you can see, it's got some handwriting on there. Um, I guess tamale. Um, and I just thought that this was really neat. She's playing basketball, so this is really old for the time. You can see it's postmarked on the back. Um, and I just thought this was really neat, really pretty, really unique. Um, 1908 White City Art is what this was dubbed as. So I just thought that was really pretty. And then he threw in this uh, trimmed, this was just a freebie. Uh, Frit, Fitz, Fitz, Fitz Simmons, 1941 play ball. He just threw this in as a thank you. And then I have one more card here. Um, and this was a contest win from Vintage Oddball Cards. Uh, super stoked about this. I had done a funny cards contest and ended up taking second place. And I cannot complain one bit. I won this uh, 1911 Sweet Caporal T206 John McClain card. Uh, absolutely beautiful. A huge thank you to uh, Vintage Oddball Cards for this amazing gift. I've never owned one of these beautiful T205s before. Just super thoughtful. Um, and just super great. And I'll show you the back. Um, a little different, as you can see. Um, but just such a neat card. So beautiful. Such a nice and thoughtful gift. And I mean, I'll take one of these all day long. It's just gorgeous. So, anyway, everybody, this is uh, Kev Bo Jones here with the wonderful World of Baseball cards. Uh, keep collecting what you love, love what you collect, and I'll see you soon. Have a great rest of your Sunday, everybody.